Hi everyone and welcome back for the fourth game of today's QRDL Mini League Tournament. Um, we have a great exciting game up for you now which is the Ninja Stars versus Sun State. I'm just going to quickly go through the Ninja Stars which will be in black today. So we've got number 68 Eraser, 1019 Merica, 117 L Bent, 187 Furious Fletch, 237 Sideswiper, 268 Crush and Kick, 339 Ruby Tuesday, 68 Candy Canes, number 8 Joey Sniper, 815 Tinker Hell, 821 KT Kabam, 86 New Sheer, sorry, Yorkshire Terror, and 88 General Scissors, 95 Ratatouille, 97 Pepper Pistola, and on the bench, Kami Kill Blonde and Mr. Blightside. And I'm here with Valkyria all the way from Germany. And uh, how are you today, ja uh, Val? Good morning, Chief. Happy to be here. Got my coffee mug with me and we'll briefly introduce you to the Sun State Skaters before we kick it off with a 007 Daisy Deathray, 018 Double D, number 11 is Valle Brutale, 111 Rattle and Bones, 133 Arsenic, 180 SX, 39 Valkyrie, 24 Shell Razor, 272 Mojo Mistress, 555 Pitchin Scratchy, 6005 Migusa, 77 is Coral Grief, number 9 Rolla Rowdy, 902 Jessica Rabbit, 99 Nuggets, and on the bench Fleetwood Smack and Macalia and Chief, it looks like we've started into the game already. It does look like we've kicked this off already. And um, this is the very last game of a day full of roller derby, which is great. And we've got a nice slow start to this, which is great for us to be able to catch up a second. Starting into the first jam with Jessica Rabbit and Ruby Tuesday. I haven't heard a lead whistle yet, but we have the first skater going to the penalty box. Oh, there we go. And with the yeah. jammer starting from In the box, now we have a lead jammer. Yeah, so the Ninja Stars lead jammer is the only jammer looks like on the track. Oh no, there's the other one for Sun State. Yeah, Jessica Rabbit was released just when uh, the Ninja Stars got their lead whistle. And Sunstay, um, Jessica Rabbit, just coming back in now. It looks like we got ourselves a two-minute jam now with the Ninja Stars jammer in the penalty box. And Jessica Rabbit for Sun State on a power jam now herself. Well, it wouldn't be even unless they both had to go in the sin bin in the first jam. And so the two minutes is how we will run this first jam as it looks like Ruby's now coming into the back of the pack for the Ninja Stars. And the pivot. Number 68 coming out for the Ninja Stars, Candy Canes. And joined by the Jammer from Sun State. That's Jessica Rabbit. Everyone's having a go at the bin. I was about to say now we have Jammer jam penalties. In. That was two points for Black Team, eight points for white so rather slowish start into the game with Jessica Rabbit starting from the penalty box side whipper on the jammer line for the first time in this game and there is a lead whistle going to the ninja stars so side wiper is has made her initial pass she's just getting knocked out there on the inside edge and um, looking to put some points on the board and bring Black's number two up into this. And that's Jessica Rabbit out of the bench, ready to rejoin and start putting some points on the board for Sun State. Jessica Rabbit just leaps over those front blockers and she's all the way in there. And uh, side wipers 
We're really going to just want to keep an eye on that and just call it off before she can even get close. Adding Mine's into wiper. Gem. Adding into Gen 3 with a 6 on 12 point score. And Shell Razor. Up against and Ruby, Ruby Tuesday, 3 3 9 for the Ninja Stars. That's in black. But it is Shell Razor who sneaks her way through and has lead jammer, but she's quickly followed there by Ruby Tuesday. And they've called it. A shell raiser calling it there. Tactical call off to keep all the points to their own team. Shell raiser lo known locally as Turtle. I wonder why Turtle. We get any information on why she's known as the Turtle? Well, turtles do wear a shell, don't they? That is true, shell raiser, turtle. That could be a, a very obvious link that I was totally ignoring. <laughs> and for the next one, we have Sideswiper up against Valley. Valkyrie is uh, very similar to your name there, Val. I would get confused yeah, exactly. there in the middle. That's why I just went for a valley. <laughs> 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 the notes that I get from the locals, I'm just going to stick with those to not confuse myself in the early hours of the day. Yeah, and, exactly. Um, you don't want to be confusing yourself in the early morning, until you, at least until you finish your coffee. Exactly. <laughs> A quick call off again from Sun State. Oh, that was Valley Brutale. Not, not Valkyrie. Oh, I, I'm mixed the other, up there. The, the other, other Val. Val. <laughs> yeah. As if there wasn't enough, we've got more, more Vals than you can poke a stick at. So we've got 10 Vals versus 12 on the board. Sun, Sun State still holding Vals a lead of two points at this stage. Oops, sorry, Val. Vels are always a nice thing to have, but please keep going. I'm getting distracted. You never have otherwise. too many vowels. <laughs> See? We've got Jessica can, and however, Ruby have... up at the moment. You can, however, have too many blockers in the penalty box. Two for Sun State at the moment. You definitely have too many of them. Because uh, that will definitely give the advantage to the Ninja Stars, but it certainly hasn't come out that way with Sun State becoming the lead jammer and Jessica Rabbit, who's um, really shown herself to be a really powerhouse in the uh, jamming capacity in only these first few jams, getting um, lead jammer on every single jam that she's in, even when she was in the stun in the box, which is, uh, which is fantastic stuff. Yeah, speaking of box, Ruby Tuesday now on her way. So it's a power jam as lead jammer for Jessica Rabbit now. Let's see mm, if she can track. capitalize on those points. Hey, okay. a lot of action going around there on it, turn four. I think we had a star pass. Well, the, we've got the jammer here, Ruby Tuesday in the bin, and I think she's holding the uh, jammer cover. So we're certainly having a, oh, for, a star pass going to be going to be happening on the Ninja Stars, but I'm not too sure. For Sun State, on Sun I State. think I think I saw the pivot coming out of the pack with the jammer cover in their hand. A double star pass. Who would have thunk it? Oh, also, if that's the case, locked up. also if that's the case, we will not have a lead call up anymore. That's right. We'll go the full two minutes. And no pivots. Ninja start. Black. Sorry, go. And Ninja Star is 
with their jammer in the box Ruby Tuesday, starting from the penalty box up against Shell Razor for Sun State, and we're going into an official timeout. And our scoreboard currently sits at black, which is the Ninja Stars on 10 points and Sun State on 24 points. And we're on official timeout. What time is it over there in Germany, Val? 6.40. 6.40. I hope you've got a big, strong double coffee going on there. And I think this is absolutely legit to wear my bathrobe at this time of day. Uh, absolutely. I did, however, no wash my face for all of you. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're liking the derby we've got going on now, tune in next week. We've also got some Denver Roller Derby versus the Rocky Mountain Roller Girls. They're going to be live right here on Twitch uh, Saturday, October 23rd at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. So make sure you follow this channel and be notified when we go live. It's a double header featuring the skaters from Denver, Rocky, and the Denver Men's League, twitch.tv forward slash WFTDA. And it looks like we're back in now over past the timeout. Could we lead for Sunset with the Ninja Stars Jammer still in the penalty box? So let's see. If Shell Razor can squeeze some points in. I thought that I thought the ninjas were the turtles, but this is all really confusing if the turtles is not on the ninjas. Unstay turtle putting the points away and locking them up whilst we still got the uh, the pivot for the ninja stars now coming out of the bin. And it looks like the jam are just approaching the back of the pack. I'm going to be putting some points on the board as uh, the turtle is yet to finish her run. You might want to call it off here. We'll see how this rolls. She's looking around. Nah, she wants to put more points on the board. This is nice. Old school derby, just letting that clock run out and putting large jams on the clock. And probably a good move there by the turtle because she's just put another four points on the board. And also get her, got her a chance to free the pivot from the penalty box. But then again, another blocker went into the box. So give one, take one, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Robin from Peter to pay Paul. Oh, but it was, it was still, it was a very, very nice jam here with uh, 36 points now going to Sun State, 18 for the Ninja Stars. So it was oh. definitely worth let it run it is longer. weird seeing uh sun state not in yellow i must admit i normally see them in the yellow and the black and last time i saw them at tgss which is our it's our uh, tournament down here in australia they've got a, a massive cheer base that really love to get into a lot of arm movements and special things going on for sun state chop chop they um special They've got a whole bunch of special cheer squad things going on with Sun State, but it is weird watching them now in white because they're definitely normally yellow and black. Which definitely makes sense with that name. Yeah. Well, it's funny, though, looking at all the lineups of teams um, coming in today, there's a, a few that, um, few that n normally I would have known quite a few of the lineups, but it, it shows you what a couple of years uh, in... Uh, in a change of roller derby in, in sort of shutdown period and everyone's different you know even the vrdl lineup's completely different and uh and it's really it's really weird all your old favorites they've sort of reprioritized different things some have come some have gone and sort of done a big reshuffle so it's really interesting when worldwide derby all kicks off back on a, on a larger scene to see how everything's sort of changed in the grand scheme of things I do very much hope so that uh, Denver Roller Derby still have the same person to run their Twitter account for next weekend. Because that was <laughs> one of the best on <laughs> Derby Twitter. And we're going back into the yeah. next jam with Valley Brutality and Sideswiper. 
Vali Bratali. She looks like she's, they're both jammer on jammer at the back of the pack. And um, one was knocked out the other. It looks like a side swiper knocked out Vali and um, just uh, making sure she came in at the right point. But the lead jammer is yes. Vali Bratali. And Vali so had already scored the first points until Side Swiper came out of the pack. So that's a four on zero jam in favor of Sun State now. So we've got a little bit of a lead going to Sun State at the moment, 22 point lead, which is, which is uh, Ninja Stars on 18, Sun State on 40. And we've got Ruby and Jessica lining up for this next jam. Jessica Rabbit, of course, and Ruby Tuesday for the Ninja Stars. And a lot of tussling going, great blocking work there for, for Jessica Rabbit. She's, she's certainly someone who's been ducking and weaving her way through the front of those packs and is getting held up quite well right now by those blockers on the Ninja Stars, not giving her any room at all to get through their tricky little ways. <clears throat> and someone's been Tuesday sent off. Stills. Ruby Tuesday is still stuck in that initial as well, but with one blocker down, two blockers down for yep. Sun State, there might come up a gap for her. Now hopefully that translates into a lead jammer, which it has done. And so Ruby Tuesday lead jammer, but coming out aw awful slow. Uh, maybe it took a lot of energy trying to get through those. It certainly was a long time in the front, in the back of those packs. Um, She's still in though, she's going to get recycled. And it looks like someone on the Sun State calling for a multiplayer block, but also there goes another, there's another ninja star into the bean. That's America. And a star pass oh. for Sunset. And followed by a call off from Ruby Tuesday and a timeout for Sun State, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, in it time does out, look like Sun it. State. So we're sitting here on Ninja Stars 21 points and uh, Sun State on 40. Slow, <clears throat> slow but steady catch-up game here for the Ninja Stars. We have 16 minutes left in the first period of the game. There's still a lot of a lot of things to come from this score in either direction. <laughs> There's still plenty of room to move for both of these two teams, that's for sure. At some stage, it's certainly come out a little stronger um, at the start of this game. Certainly doesn't mean anything for either of these two Division Two teams. Um, and, I mean, there's the Ninja Stars certainly no slouches. Uh, both these two teams pulling off some great jams in, uh, in the first 15 minutes of the first half there. Looks like that's number 99, Nuggets, with the pivot, star, pivot on her head. And we've got Side Swiper versus the Turtle Shell Razor. And the Turtle slow and steady on the outside until she gets into a wall of ninja stars, which nobody, let's face it, nobody wants to come face to face with the wall of ninja stars. It means doom, certainly doom. We do have a lead jammer on the Ninja Stars side there. That's Side Swiper. Are we going into the discussion how turtle shells will hold up against Ninja Stars or not? <laughs> well, I look a well aimed Ninja Star or Necker Turtle, I reckon. <laughs> but uh, it's all about the position of the turtle, surely. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, this was definitely a well end call off three more points going to the Ninja Stars. Uh, slow and steady catching up here and going into the next jam with three and three blocker set on track. Uh, that looks like Valley Brutale there for Sunstack. Uh, still trying to figure out. Uh, Cut call. Is that E Razor? E Razor there for the Ninja Stars, who is the lead jammer at this, at this point. Cut call on Valley Brutale. Oh, that's right. She's currently sitting beside that uh, timer, the penalty tracker. I'm a lady. And uh, get out of here. Get out of here, she says. <laughs> See you later, Valley. Great work there by E Razor. Putting on some lovely casual points there and um, doing a really great job for the Ninja Stars. Yeah, fantastic opportunity now to catch up on Sun State. With Valley Brutale still in her initial pass, oh, no. and I saw a jammer cover coming off the helmet, but the pivot is just now heading back to the track from the penalty box. So, let's see if we get ourselves yeah, another start pass out. from Sunset. Seems to be difficult to stop there from the Sunset. I think she's done two or three passes now and really putting on some great points. On a roll. On eight of them. Let's call off. That was a good wow, jam for a razor. That was a fantastic jam. Uh, just Bringing one more jam pass back separating the teams. Yeah, that's right. 36 to 40 on the board. Um, a great 12-point unanswered jam there to the Ninja Stars, really bringing this game back into a neck-and-neck -neck battle. Uh, Jessica Rabbit versus Side Swiper on the on the track at the moment. Now Jessica has had a really great run, um, but at the moment Side Swiper, oh no, she's on the ground, so that's going to be <laughs> she's, she's listening to the commentators and doing exactly the opposite of what the commentators say. Is that how <laughs> skaters like to roll? That's the delay that we have. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> that's exactly Side right. Swiper, Side Swiper now out as the lead jammer. So it looks like the Ninja Stars have found a recipe to deal with Jessica Rabbit for now. So that was the pass. Four more points that separated the team. So we got ourselves a tie early in the game. Yeah. These last two jams have really equalized this game. And now I think they've just put the Ninja Stars in front. So. Ninja Stars versus Turtles. Ninja Stars won, Turtles none. I think that's just put the Ninja Stars in front by about four. It has. We've got the Ninja Stars it on did. 44, Sun State on 40. Um, all due to the last couple of jams. And it uh, really shows that uh, any two jams in the right situations can really turn the tides on a game of roller derby. Um, I think we might be seeing a team timeout now from the Ninja Stars. Yes. Well, that's a that's uh, a pretty expected sort of thing to try and regather and stop the momentum. Because I mean, look, roller derby is all about momentum. Let's let's face it. So on uh, no, no, on October twenty second, W. By... Oh, the other team. Oh, yeah. On. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the joys of a delay between halfway across the planet. <laughs> uh, on October 22nd, WFTDA will host a member-exclusive grief counselling session. Uh, it's some extra time to focus on the topic of grief with Leslie Barber from Grief Warrior. Find more information and register at community.wftda.org in the upcoming events sections. Sorry, Val, what were you saying? Um, that the timer was indeed taken by the black team, by... The Ninja Stars, which I found a very interesting step to take at this moment, because as you said, it's all about momentum. That's exactly um, right. I would have thought that was, had come from Sun State, but yeah, weird choice to take. Maybe they're just trying to uh, trying 
trying to change tact and keep it fresh. Uh, who knows? It, it is it is a very ever changing game. The old uh, roller derby and pivoting at the at the right time can really lock in or lose a game. So. Um, we'll see how it all pans out here. We've got uh, Ruby Tuesday up against Shell Razor, the turtle. And the turtle has made her way through in a very fast motion, very unlike a turtle. Uh, but she's out there smashing it. And it looks, looks like Ruby Tuesday is still... Where is she? Oh, there she is. Is at the front here. Ruby at uh, Turtle is smashing it. That's a second passing um, uh, lap, I believe. So that's like perhaps eight uh, eight points there. And really doing a great <laughs> job. And we're going to see the front of those blockers start to split out now. And they did, and they've got to let her pass. But uh, Shell Razor, I think, has put 12 points on the board and put this back into the hands of Sunstake. Uh, oh, smooth, smooth as a whistle. So a very unfortunate uh, setting for the Ninja Stars. We had a start pass, which was not successful, as it looks like, because the pivot was sent to the penalty box, but is seated as a blocker. So we have the original jammer, Ruby Tuesday, still on track, but still in her initial. And in the meantime, Shell Razor taking another trip to the pack. Did you keep count, Chief? Is it 16 now? Uh, I think it's either 16 or 20. And I'm hoping for the Ninja Stars that it's 16, because if it's not, it's about to be 24. Yeah. A lot of points <laughs> here on the board for the turtle. And she, she's, she, I don't think she knows how turtles work. Turtles are really slow, and if someone could get a message to her and let her know that she needs to be a lot slower, it's just going to be called the turtle. But then again, turtles are very resilient, and apparently that resilience uh, worked out pretty well against that wall of ninja stars. So we're looking sure, at sure a did. new score of 56 points for Sun State. So that was a 16-point gem in total now for the turtle. <clears throat> um, ninja star is still sitting at 44. We're going into the next one with Valley Brutali versus Candy Canes. And I think we have not seen Candy Canes jam in this game yet, Chief. No, not from my recollection. Candy Canes is probably coming out nice and fresh. Hopefully, um, if they've been holding on to her in the ro jammer rotation, maybe she's got some extra hidden strength and wearing those blockers down. But it is coming up all Valley Brutali at the moment because she's a little... Oh. No, she is not. She got sent off off camera. So we've got a jammer in the bin now in Valley Brutale, and it is it is all coming up candy canes. It's it, all the Christmases have come at once. There's a lot of action going on over there. A lot of yelling. Andy Keynes is trying to put some points on the board. I think we're going to probably see the full two minutes here. That is, un unless now Candy Keynes is through. She's the lead jammer. Mm. She's looking around for some advice from the uh, from the bench, and she's just spotted where uh, Vali Brutali is. She's probably going to keep an eye on that, maybe grab a few points and then call it as quick as she can. She's, and there we go. So it looks like uh, looks like the Ninja Stars probably clawed back a few points there. So if this sort of tit for tat uh, jammer action is going to sort of make the the scores go up and down a little bit. We've got a ten point differential uh, going to Sun State in charge at the moment. Um, but as we've seen before, this could all go either way very very quickly as as both teams have, have pulled out sixteen plus point jams. Um, to really change this this dynamic of the scores. Jessica Still Rabbit, we'll start to, to see now... Oops. We'll start to see Keep now going. if the blockers on Sun State uh, have got a technique in, in sorting Jessica Rabbit out because she really came out of the gates super quick. 
and she's now through the front of the pack, which is also quite awesome. But Merica, uh, the jammer for the Ninja Stars, looks like she's also through, even a little bit wonky, I guess, on the on the footing, sort of, and just being sent out there as well for whatever that motion is. No, nope, telling me for, to form the pack. I thought she was giving them a penalty, but she wasn't. <laughs> That was a America. Was that an attempt at an at an apex jump, and she was picked out from the air? Because I just saw a wonderful fall in the turn one, and then the um, partying after after the call off. Yeah, look, it's it's not unlike America to cheer for uh, a failed jump. <laughs> probably a very suitable. How we get a. Got a, some background info that was Rolla Rowdy with a big hit there in turn one. I miss ah, those. Right. <laughs> yeah. Side Swiper up against Hell Shell Razor for the next jam. <clears throat> a great we blocking call there by off. Jessica Rabbit. Oh, someone's getting sent off. Mm. Oh, it was a three point Seven jam point in favor of the ninja. Yeah, Ninja Star is <clears> now <throat> sitting on a 52 points, only seven behind the lead uh, from the, the Sun States 59. As we go into E Razor, E Razor's last jam came out with 16 points, and Vali Brutali with five minutes left in this half. Can E-Razor bring back that seven-point differential and put Ninja Stars in front again? She's certainly hard to stop, but has <laughs> no. done the perfect thing for the commentators and made her way to the bin bin. You jinx it. <laughs> I know. I'm not going to oh, say anything. I'm just going to say somebody, something. <laughs> Look at the screen. Look at the screen. Gemma released <laughs> from the box because there's another Gemma what? coming to the box. So we have ourselves a two minute jam. Wonderful. Nice With two minute still jam open. right near the end. <clears throat> lead still open. Eraser now in front of the pack with two blockers to beat. Oh no, gets taken to the infield and has to recycle to the back of the pack again. Valley out again now as well. Nice defense from both of everyone's, the teams. Yep, everyone's getting recycled all the way back there because I think that might have been E Razor who knocked out Valley, which is why she's sort of skating backwards. And E Razor sees that she's turning herself into a blocker here and really going to try and put the screws on because I think she knows that uh, Valley's quite a quick skater. And so turning around and giving themselves extra blockers at this juncture just before they go in is probably a nice tactical move. Oh, Valley now on her first scoring, first scoring pass for Valley now. Eraser is still on that tripod in the back of the pack in turn two. <clears throat> uh, Valley, it looks like Valley has to fight a little on that scoring pass, and the front is out for the first four points now. All we can do now is wait for the jam clock to tick down. And Here it looks like it's done, so. Let's see if Valley could squeeze some more points in the back of the pack. Could be five or six in total for this jam. A five point five. jam in favor of Sun State. So with just two <clears throat> minutes and 40 seconds left in this half, we've got a 12 point differential Sun State just tipping out on the, on the lead at the moment. Uh, and in this current jam, we've got Ruby Tuesday for the Ninja Stars up against Jessica Rabbit for the Sun State. Um, Ruby still stuck in the track, finding seen. a way on the inside. It's getting nudged, but she's fell into the track, so that's okay. And she's now 
There's a whole bunch of shenanigans going on over there on the bottom of the floor, but Jessica Rabbit, she doesn't care. She's just swinging around and adding some more points. They got a rabbit and a turtle on their on their team. They're hedging their bets. That's what's <laughs> going on there. Um, well, Jessica Rabbit has been a safe bet for Sun State so far, scoring wise and lead wise. That's true. She's definitely okay. consistent, and and when she puts those points on, she certainly does so with great gusto and furious speed. There can't be much time left on this clock. We've got a 16-point lead now, so some really nice uh, jams coming up into this halftime and one minute and 10 seconds left on the clock. That's 70 seconds left in this match. Maybe two jams, but probably looking like one. We'll see how this rolls. Probably only one. And Yeah. So meanwhile, we've got Let's... Sideswiper and Shellraiser. All kinds of stuck at the back of the pack right now. Well, both of the teams really putting the screws on now. Impressive defense, but there's two remaining Sunstead blockers on track, though. <clears throat> and a cut so ball for quite Shellraiser. Well for any two blockers. This could be the kind of thing that the Ninja Stars are really looking to uh, get some last minute points before we go into the halves. Absolutely, and let's see how much Sideswiper can capitalize on that power jam now. <clears throat> There's a lot of blockers over there now, all giving each other a big old group hug, and nobody's going anywhere, right behind all the officials. So, great view for all of us. Did we have an initial pass for Sideswiper already? And Nuggets and SX are those two blockers there for Sunstate. They were doing a fantastic job of holding up the Ninja Stars um, side swiper. Yeah, it was some brilliant uh, defense there in that power jam. Um, yeah, some really great po um, point blocking, really. Not only point blocking, it was the initial pass. Uh, side swiper just got out of her initial when uh, Shellraiser was sent back on track and called off the jam right away. So that was some really, really nice defense from Nuggets and Essex. And yeah, we're and going they're only to two half of them now. And, uh, uh, yeah, certainly stopped a comeback by the old Ninja Stars. So, we have a, uh, oh no, that was my mistake. We actually did have four points for um, the Ninja Stars. Going into halftime with 56 to 68 and into a brief intermission of six minutes. That's right. And if you want to be a part of the Roller Derby conversations at the We FTDA Collective, signing up is easy and you'll be able to connect with other folks, skaters, officials, announcers, and volunteers returning to Roller Derby from the near and far. Find more information at community.wftda.org. So what have we got? Five minutes now until the second half, Val. And uh, yeah, this is the last game of the day. And, and your first game of the day. What better way to start a day than roller derby, right? <laughs> That's exactly right. All right, folks, we've got about five minutes have... if you want to go to the bathroom and have a bathroom break or what you need to, but don't make it any longer than that because otherwise you're going to miss out on the start of the second half and still absolutely anyone's game if you want a cliche roller derby term to throw us into the break. Hello, well, and we are back with you. Hi, Chief. We are back with you. And Val's never-ending cup of coffee continues uh into into the second half um i've already i had my coffees well long ago but we're going into the second half now under a minute left and sun state uh if just a recap sunset is coming in 12 points higher than the ninja stars but we have had a bit of back and forth for the lead um there's some great uh blockers and great jammers out there at the moment uh so hopefully the little bit of rest is going to have them come shooting out of uh, the gates and it will be in for a really exciting second half. Yeah, speaking of a little bit of rest, a couple of 
Skaters have had a lot of rest during the first period. Let's have a quick look at the penalties. We got Migusa sitting on five already, Mojo on four penalties. And then for the Ninja Stars, um, Yorkshire, Terra, Terra, and Ruby Tuesday are both on three penalties. So let's see how that will figure in the next half hour. Yeah, we'll they're going to play a bit more conscientiously. Gym. Sideswiper up against Jessica Rabbit, and it looks like a lead for Sideswiper with uh, two Sunset blockers seated in the penalty box. It was a rather conveniently easy pass. Uh, for yeah, four more points of work. It's uh, Jessica Rabbit has been lead jammer in most of her jams, and it's really nice to see Sideswiper coming in through, putting eight points on the board um, unanswered, and uh, Jessica Rabbit still getting caught up by those front blockers from the Ninja Stars, just waiting for some of those skaters to come out of the bench. Another four points. That's 12 points on the board and going to call it before any points can go over to Sunstake. So in this first jam, I think we've just brought it straight back to an even game of 68-68, which is certainly um, the way that you'd want to do start the second half. Ninja Stars really... Pulled himself together. I don't know. It was a nice pep talk there in the halftime. I don't. Did you see the nice can opener in turn one there when uh, um, Sideswiper came up to the inside line and one of her blockers just pushed away the defense, the opposing one, to open up that inside lane. It was really nice. Quick uh, lead there for open. Valid Brutelli. Definitely have some Valid Brutelli up against can openers. Bella <laughs> <laughs> Brutelli and Ruby Tuesday on the next gem. It's getting a little yeah. tighter now with that even score. Yeah, Valley Brutelli looking and finding a little gap on the outside edge and just making herself the lead gem. I think that was just the initial pass. Uh, it but was, she does put down a jam. She, Exactly. I'm not quite sure what what was going on there with Ruby Tuesday. She pulled off the jammer cover and then left the track. There must have been a penalty somewhere in between that we couldn't ah, see. Ah, failed star pass. And call off from Valley Brutelli for a power jam start in favor of Sun State in the upcoming one. Looks like we're going to start with a full complement of blockers on track. Right, so with that failed star pass, Ruby Tuesday is going to start in the bin as the jammer and Shell Razor on the track starting in a power, power jam situation. So there's an official timeout and just looking to try and figure out what's going on there. Oh, so someone from the penalty box starts signaling the official timeout, so... And, uh... I think we got ourselves the first foul out of the game. Ah. Yeah, we have and a jammer swap. Was... All right. And so was that Ruby Tuesday? Being f I know it was a misinformation. Uh, Sorry, we're just getting just getting some background. It's uh, just to make sure medical checkup because somebody suspects a head knock from Ruby. So not a foul out. Sorry. That's all right. Easy mistake. But um, <clears throat> I think that yeah, Ruby's being just seen by a medic just to make sure that she's okay after that suspected head knock. Uh, so they have sw switched out those two jammers. And um, I'm not too sure who we do have for the Ninja Stars who's come in to Ruby's place. But that jam's already done and dusted. So it was America. One more pass in there for Sun State, so we're again looking at a 12-point differential. 
Jessica rambled up against Sideswiper with a bit of a tumble there. Everybody on the ground for the start of the jam and Sideswiper taking the lead for the Ninja Stars. Well, it's nice when everybody else is on the ground. It leaves plenty of room to take the lead jam. And she's going to call it there before uh, Jessica can add any points to her team. We'll see how that pans out. Pans out. Three point jam in favor of the Ninja Stars. Slide blocker advantage on track for the Ninja Stars in the upcoming one. America up against Valley Brutelli. Five minutes into the second period of the game. Still and quite close with only nine points difference. Yeah, a lot of action going on behind where they started at the moment. The pivot is playing around with uh, with America and uh, making it work for it, that's for sure. And just double checking, it's coming from the outside to the inside lane there. <coughs> And having a lot of trouble with those back blockers, recycling America. And it looks like she's got go. there's a star pass going to be having here, but it hasn't happened as of yet. And it is all coming up Vali Brutale because when all this is going on, she's just sneaking around and checking on some points. It looks like Rattle and Bones doing a lot of that recycling there on America. So uh, she's certainly not going to be happy about that. And we have now had the star pass. Uh, and I guess just in time for the whistle as his best way to pass a star. Pass a star and then the whistle goes after all that effort. And you just called it off. That's great. <laughs> So six points in for Sun State. So now we're at a 15 point lead for Sun State in the white jerseys. Shell Razor up against Sideswiper. Shell Razor, AKA Turtle, has been very consistent up against the Ninja Stars in the first period of the game as well. Absolutely. Um, and they're all over at the moment. So um, Shell Razor is trying to push her way through and doing a great job there. Really nice work staying inside the track and is and it's just you know, squeeze her way through and become lead jammer on that side swiper, looking for the outside edge and grabs it, um, which is great news for her. But there's points on the board. Just oh, lovely hit there by, uh, oh, it's hard to see that number. That was a great hit there, Ratatouille. Really, uh, really put an end to that run there for uh, Shell Razor. Mm. Point say stay stagnant, stagnant at 71 to 86, 15 point differential. Looks like, looks like Jessica Rabbit and Candy Canes. So we've got, uh, and Jessica really quick and taking advantage of that and lead jammer before even everything, if I was even blinked, it was nice and quick. And uh, Candy Canes also out now. Um, and she's halfway around the track, but Jessica is, I think that's a second scoring pass, even perhaps, no, first, surely. But she's called it one way or the other. So it looks like we've got a 71 to 90 split. And that's a 19 point game here. I've probably got about 20 minutes, I should say, left in this game. This is one of the largest leads we've had in this game so far. Previously, it's sitting at about 16 points. So Vali Brutale and E Razor now up on the, the line against each other and 21 minutes and 10 seconds left in this half. 
And a razor is having some trouble with some of those back sun state blockers and same with Vali. There, there we go. e raises found a little bit of an edge there and moves away through his lead jammer going there to Ninja Stars. Exactly what they need right now. Vali Brutali is signaling as the jammer cover comes off her head and she's waiting for the pivot to come outside of the sin bin before she can do any passing. But I think that's exactly what's about to happen. Uh, uh, beautiful still, still hidden in her hand, she it. Dog pass. Oh, it was a beautiful <laughs> star pass there on the inside line in turn one. Very, very sneaky. Very quick. So, coring back just the three points there and bring it back to the 16 point lead for Sun State. <clears throat> Shell Razor and Sideswiper in the next one. All eight blockers on track, and it's a very crowded start, but Sideswiper, Sideswiper. taking the lead. This is great. That this pairing off, Sideswiper has not um, come out on top on uh, on many of the occasions as um, as uh, Shell Razor has has been really quite dominating that jammer jammer head face off. Yeah, uh, Shell Razor in the penalty box now with a forearm call. And oh. so that is a nice chance for Sideswiper to even out that point differential a little bit. And the first scoring cast now for the Ninja Stars. Oh, I no. see somebody leaving the track, and it looks like That's a Jammer switcheroo. Ah, yeah. cut track call on Sideswiper. Shell Razor back to track, so no more lead jammer in this one. Shell Razor will have to finish her initial pass, though. Oh, as the only jammer, there's certainly not going to uh, be something that she's going to waste that opportunity. So both jammers now in scoring position. Well, not in scoring position, but Sideswiper already scored before she was sent to the box. Shell Razor in that First scoring pass and side swiper back to the track now. Yeah, just can try and equalize the scoring pass as much as they can. Or oh, side swiper is winded, it looks like. She's not not she's struggling a little. But um Shell Razor is getting recycled and we're seeing everybody skate all the way back. So hopefully this winds down some of the clock for this very disjointed jam. Been all a little all over the place. And a big hit from SX on the side. Yeah, I think SX has been dishing out some love to the, to the Ninja Stars jammers today. Well, that's a job, I guess, really, isn't it? <laughs> no, Knock them down. That's why we'd like to be blockers. At least that's why oh, yeah. I like being a blocker. <laughs> <laughs> Less people to come and take you out. So let's see. That was a four and four jam with all the jammers in the box. Official timeout. I'm not surprised because it was all over the place, and I'm sure they're just uh, taking a bit of time to figure out what's going on. If you're watching this, yeah, it's the first time I've ever. Go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say that if it's the first time you're seeing Derby and you're out there and you're like, oh, this is all right. Maybe you've seen the beginning skater program. This is Roller Derby. And if you've got questions about where or how to start, make sure you join in the skating education and training community at WeFPDA. We'll be discussing your questions, adding resources and linking to more information about the skating curriculum. Skating education and training at community.wpda.org. Okay, now I see two jammers seated in a penalty box. Now I see two jammers standing in a penalty box. So I see a confused penalty box manager. <laughs> yeah. Uh, looks like our jammers will be starting the upcoming jam from the penalty box. Blockers going to the backside of the track. 
Let's see who's gonna be the first one on track and out of the pack. Both are in a position to become the jammer at this point. And lead is going to Sun State to... Was it Shell Razor, I think? Who started yeah, in the previous Shell gen? Riser. <clears throat> it is Shell Razor. 24 Shell Razor, that's right. It is Shell Razor. So the same jam as last time. Shell Razor is a sideswiper. Um, some really interesting start to that second uh, second into that jam at all, actually. Both jammers starting in the bin and having to fight for their position, even to join the track, which was great. Sideswipe is off to the medic. We had a situation now, obviously, with Sideswiper. She didn't look good before uh, holding her side and her arm, so hopefully she's okay out there. And quick change of the jammers. We've got Vali versus Ruby Tuesday. And Vali is having trouble with some of those back blockers, as is Ruby. Ruby's looking to try and make some room, but the pack is going to have to get back together. Uh, and it looks like Vali's just got the edge there, only marginally, um, as Ruby Tuesday is just behind her. Uh, has now increased that lead to almost a quarter of a, of a track. Gets through and calls it. But I'm sure there's probably a few extra points there by Ruby as she hits some of those back, back blockers. <clears throat> so it's Sunstad now moving in to the three digits mm. with 101 points to the board now. 77 to the Ninja Stars. <clears throat> Jessica Rabbit for yeah. Sun State up against Eraser for the Ninja Stars. Two very different Ninja Stars, styles one of jammers here. Yeah. Absolutely. But that's what makes the sport so interesting. Yeah, it sure does. I mean, it we've does, got ourselves a late jam and Eraser. Jessica Rabbit still pushing in turn two, making it out of the pack. And Eraser coming up to score now. First two points down. No, oh, it's just and capitalizing there is a on that cut cap. call. Oh, is there? No capitalizing. Oh, no. Cutting, no not capitalizing. <laughs> um, Jessica Rabbit now on a power gem. This is not what they want to see as, as well. another ninja star makes her way to the uh, sin bin. So reduced capacity for blocking and uh, Jessica Rabbit, the super quick, is going to try and put as many points as she can on that board with the time that she's got because E-Razor was the lead jammer. So this is probably going to go for the full two minutes, I would say. Absolutely. Jessica Rabbit in the second scoring pass. Eraser was in her first scoring pass when she was sent to the penalty box. So we'll have to finish that one. We're now on eight on zero at the moment in favor of Sun State. Yeah. As so eight on four now with that first scoring pass of Eraser finished, completed and a little bit recycling. They're going on. against Jessica Rabbit. Eraser now finishing her second scoring pass. Jessica Rabbit in the third the jammer cover comes off the helmet, but the whistle, jam ending whistle goes off before she can pass it. And we should be pretty even. I'm guessing 10 on 8 jam. Uh, nice work to bring that back. It looks like Sideswiper is back in as well. So she's obviously got the all clear from the medics to return, which is great news. Um, and we're looking here now at a score of 86 to 110. So that's 20, no, 14 points of difference. 24. No, 24 points of difference uh, as Shell Razor versus Ruby Tuesday line up for this next jam. So it is Shell Razor who comes out with the lead jam. 
and um, this is definitely going to be putting Sunstate in charge here to start a little bit of a breakaway. Uh, hopefully, Sun uh, Ninja Stars can sort of lock up a bit and uh, and start to stop the onslaught that is the fastest scoring Ninja Turtle, not Ninja Turtle, <laughs> Sunstate Turtle. You certainly had a great game there, Shell Razor today. Sunstate's got a timeout now, team timeout. Or just to have a look at what they've got for the rest of the game and make sure that they just knuckle down and make sure that they keep those points coming in because they're looking at a 20 point lead at the moment. And with 12, 12 minutes, minutes left, left on that is like mm. absolutely possible. <clears throat> totally possible. And uh, especially with the game, had... the way things have gone. It um, can definitely go either way at this juncture. Absolutely. We have seen big-ish jams from both of the teams at uh, rather surprising points in the game. So it is absolutely possible. Absolutely. A big shout out to anyone up there in Queensland. Uh, beautiful, sunny Queensland, probably enjoying beautiful weather because they always have beautiful weather up there. And uh, it's great that they're able to get together like this and play some roller derby and, and be amongst friends and family and, and all that sort of things. And, and big shout out to Queensland. Getting some chatter here. <clears throat> uh, Eraser is already on her sixth penalty in the game. So let's see if she will stay with us and for the last the remaining 12 minutes, we have Valley Brutelli up against Ruby Tuesday in the upcoming jam. <clears throat> and uh, right now, Ruby Tuesday is a little bit out in front, but seems like Valley Brutelli yeah. is sneaking by, takes the lead in turn two. Sunstay have a full complement of, of small and really uh, fast jammers. And they managed to find those uh, gaps and just shoot the, the way through there, um, which has certainly proven really uh, positive at some points and other points having trouble with some of those um, more uh, larger blockers. Um, but certainly when, um, when, when things are slowed down a little, they're able to really quickly and nimbly shoot around the track. Ruby Tuesday now in the penalty box. She was still in her initial pass, and so now Valley Brutelli on a power jam for Sun State. That is an interesting point in the jam to call it off. With the opposing jammer still in her initial pass when she's going to the penalty box, but I will take it. So now we have a 24 point differential in favor of Sun State. Going into the next one with a uh, fresh jammer and a full set of blockers on both sides. And the next jam will be brought to you by Nuggets. Nuggets? Has Nuggets been jamming in this one? I've seen Nuggets as a I've blocker, but not as a jammer yet. And yeah. now I see Nugget going to the box for a forearm just when Ruby Tuesday is released. So now it's a chance for Ruby to gain lead and gain some points for... That was a no lead. That is interesting. Nugget's turning okay, around but tomorrow. Anyways. It's very, very Australian name, Nugget. It's... Uh, <laughs> it's... Uh, it's uh, yeah, she's, she's happy with her, her jam. I think normally a blocker, but she's just like, whatever, that's all right. Gave it a crack. <laughs> so lead word it out to Ruby Tuesday, and Ruby could score the first points already. Nugget back on track. We'll have to finish our initial, though. And uh, Goose is just informing us that Nuggets indeed is jamming for the first time in this game. And we got we're all up there on the third turn as Ruby Tuesday is just trying to 
make her way through and there she is with a little bit of aid from one of her jammers uh, one of her blockers there and she's calling it off big big shout out at this point by the way to goose sitting in at curity l operating the camera and feeding us background information there from the venue so chief and i can tell you a little more about and uh oh, it's doing down. a fantastic job on it <clears throat> it's grift down. Goose. it has been goose thank you so much eight minutes left and we got sideswiper and shell razor Wow, shooting around that track is Shell Razor. And doing some fancy footwork and just slicing her way right away through that Ninja Star defense. Oh, really great work there. Just sort of almost like she's in a slalom going through those downhill skis, getting away through those posts and putting those points on the board. I'd probably say that Shell Raise has probably been the most effective jammer in this game. Um, she's a lot of those big point scorers have come through at the hands of her. A real asset there to Sun State and another four points on the board. So that was either a 12 or a 16 point jam unanswered all the way through to Sun State. Really yep, stretching 16 this points. Lead out you are now. absolutely correct. We're looking yeah. at 98 to 90, 30, 98 to 30. <clears throat> seven minutes left. This is now taking a little yeah. bit of a direction. Got the eraser and a little. Feeling eraser. Coming out as lead jammer, and uh, she was one earlier in the game who scored really big for um, for the Ninja Stars and really turned the game for them. <clears throat> Let's yeah, see. I think it's it's having a that really different style of jamming that um, that really shakes up how the defense needs to be played. And um, and uh, Eraser certainly, when she's pulled out into the jamming so as a jammer, she uh, they uh, some state really have to change up how they how they defend against her. They do, but then but again, on right. the other hand, we have we have Eraser and six penalties. So That's exactly I mean, it's only right. it's only a couple of, it's only a couple of minutes left in the game, but uh, she still wants to wants to watch it to not fall out. No, uh, exactly. No one, got... no one likes to be thrown out of the out of the game. Yeah. Not a, not a nice no. way to end. Nah, it's not fun to to like end the game like on your own in the locker room or in the stands and not on the bench. <laughs> not that I That's know right. that from personal experience. No. I've just heard about. No, that, but... it never happens to someone like you, Val. <laughs> no. <laughs> Five and nah. a half minutes left. Nuggets up against uh, Ruby Tuesday. And uh, Nuggets out in front with only one blocker to beat and is taking the lead for this jam. <clears throat> Ruby Tuesday is still stuck in the starting area, starts nibbling on the helmet cover, but with the pivot seated in the penalty box, she can as well keep pushing, taken to the infield and will have to recycle. And Nuggets so in the meantime Nuggets on the got a lot of strength scoring. coming in as a jammer. Um, obviously, having that a different sort of dynamic is means that uh, Ninja Star is going to have to to change the way that they've been blocking as well. They've just certainly gotten used to the smaller jammers, um, and Nugget sort of helps change up that dynamic. Sun State defense doing a nice job against Ruby Tuesday, and now pulling a. Penalty, I think it was a low block on Ruby Tuesday issued. Nuggets calls off the jam was in her first scoring pass. And so power jam start going to Sun State with about four and a half, five minutes left on the clock. 
we get ourselves another two, three more jams. And I see skaters going to the infield and bench staff going to the infield. Uh, we have an official review by the Ninja Stars. Official probably review. about the low block. Mm. Well, E-Race has managed to pull back 10 points there. So it's minimizing that lead which uh, was sitting at 32 down, bringing that back to 24. So that's, um, that's definitely reachable in the time frame they've got left, um, but it's certainly going to be a hard slog there for the Ninja Stars and the Sun State are going to be very wary um, going into this last five minutes um, to, to really try and stop that from happening. Uh, yeah, the Ninja Stars want the call on Ruby overturned, which is at this point in the game definitely reasonable to try, <laughs> even if the if the call stands, um, you will have an extra timeout for your team. And uh, as we said earlier, it's all about all about the flow of the game and breaking the stride of Sun State. Now is always a good. Good point to try. Yeah, um, that's right. So ninja and stars are claiming. Hurt. So the ninja stars are claiming that the initial contact made by Ruby was in a hit, and um, the Sun State skater that went down initiated the contact against Ruby. And uh, we have four minutes left on the clock, so let's see how that official review now turns out we have two outcomes either ruby stays in the box or ruby will be released from the box that's basically it isn't it uh looks like we have had some late points come in for sun state so that's going to bring them up to 133 uh and so we are still looking at a point differential of 27 uh certainly not unreachable just a little bit further to go there for the ninja stars but it looks as though Ruby is still in the bench, so they probably stands and Ruby is staying where she is for now. And Sun State now coming into this, four minutes left on the clock as the only jammer in a power jam situation. And that's Shell Razor. And so really great time to pull out your best jammer and quite possibly stretch that lead into something that is really unmanageable for the Ninja Stars to be able to return. And she's out there in the front Lead jammer goes to Shell Razor and Ruby standing up, ready to join the fray. But but is it too late? Who knows? She's certainly got a work cut out for her. Ruby's entering into the track at this stage, and Shell Razor is stuck at the front of the pack at the moment, not for very long, mind you, because she's just put some more points on the board. I think that was an eight. Might have been only four. But I think it was probably oh, eight. She oh, she's been sent off into the bin. She put a penalty on the board first of all that was very unfortunate i think it was a forearm call as i've seen that correctly from the jammer referee we be tuesday now on a power jam but still in her initial pushing up oh. against the wall of three in front is taken to the infield taking a hard tumble and recycled to the back of the pack from turn three all the way back to turn two that's right, and because Shellraiser was the lead jammer and now sits in the bin, we're going to see this go for the full two minutes, which is going to bring the time overall time clock underneath the two-minute mark after the end of this jam. So if there are going to be points exactly. on the board, Ninja Stars really need to start cranking them out now if they're going to have any chance going into the end of this game. So that's a beautiful defense that we're seeing from the Sun State blockers here. Um, they showed that during the whole game already and now keeping Ruby Tuesday here stuck in that initial during that whole power jam, forcing her to pass the star cover to her pivot. We got a new pivot now on Ninja Star side, uh, Candy Canes. And uh, yeah, very effectively killing that power jam time, but unfortunately Shell Razor returning to the penalty box just at the end of the jam. Um, so leaving one more jam now with a power jam start to a riser. the ninja 
And that is exactly the choice that I would have made as my jammer for that last jam starting in a power oh, jam. Absolutely. <laughs> e is the only jammer out there who's managed to put uh, double digits for the Ninja Stars. And if anyone can do it, she can do it. And she's really got to, uh, she's really got to sort of push her way through and just, and just get the points there. So she's got, she's got a big deficit of 31 points to make up. So whether or not that's inside her reach, she's, uh, oh. cut track. Ooh, that's a cut track that's and that is a very unfortunate the because that is in the coffin and it is penalty number seven for eraser so what happens to a skater who fouls out mid jam she just stands next to the penalty box so that is a two minute power jam now for sun state and that makes it an um, unwinnable that is goal exactly most definitely the nail in the coffin quick shout out to bobby yeah. narco um Nice seeing you, although you're a little bit late to the party, I have to admit. <laughs> and we are now just in this uh, position where Sun State and uh, is that is Hellraiser, isn't it? Hellraiser is now can yes. call it off as she has done. And um, that'll probably be the end of the game. It really depends on when the call of was on the time on the clock. With right, full time. Thirty-one seconds. We just... anybody's taking a timeout, maybe. <laughs> 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 we could get ourselves another one. <laughs> it does look like we've come to to unofficial full time. No, Turtle did run it out, no. so she ran out the clock. So we've got um, a final score here of the Ninja Stars runner up at 106 and uh, Sun State taking out this last game of the QRDL mini tournament at 145. It's been great to get back into here at Derby Val and um, what a great start of the day yes. for you over there in Germany with a big, big mug of coffee and a whole bunch of Derby. Uh, thanks very much for joining us out there on WFTDA. Make sure to sign up and subscribe on the Twitch channel so that you can get any updates as they come on through because there are some, a bunch of good games coming in and Derby is kicking off all the way around the world as things start to open up now. So you're not going to want to miss any of these games as they do come fresh into your telly. Uh, your computer telly, that is, of course. Uh, <laughs> and um, it's been you absolutely Twitch great on to be here today. Television. You can watch Twitch on your television. That's exactly right. Uh, but it's been great commentating today, and I've been uh, Chief Intent. It's been great joining you this morning, Val. Thank you very much, Chief. I'm Mokiria, and I will see you all soon. See you soon.